I want to read to you something that I have written a while ago, as you can see here, June 28th, 2016. It is called Sheep Who Turn and Stay as Goats. Sheep as being righteous people, goats meaning sinners. I could totally be wrong about this, but I don't think that I am. There are people who know about God in the Bible. Out of that large group of people, there are individuals who are content with staying in sin. In my opinion, these people are the most wicked and evil. Allow me to give this group of people a name. Let's call them sheep goats. Sheep goats. Okay. There may be heathens and or lifelong atheists who may know very little or nothing of God. It is not a big surprise if they treat you contrary to the rules and regulations of the Bible. On the other hand, sheep goats know of God in the Bible. They may have experienced or viewed the miraculous power of God, as in God fixing difficult situations, people being healed or condition improving, so on and so on. In my humble opinion, sheep goats are the worst. They can be very manipulative. How is this? There is power in the word of God. Many people don't understand this. Most of us know this phrase, knowledge is power. So there is power in knowing. The word and this world and humanity is governed by the rules and regulations of the Bible. So if you are wicked, evil person who claim to be Christian, sheep goat, you can be extremely manipulative. For an example, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Basically, everything you do will carry a reward or curse. If you continue to do bad things, curses will come to you. If you continue to do good things, blessings will come to you. A sheep goat can manipulate you with this scripture. How? They can guilt trip you. If you don't do what they want you to do, they may say that you are sinning, that you are breaking God's commandment by not helping a person who asks you for help. People People who may not know the Bible too well may fall for the apparent lies. Another example, the sheep goat is obligated to buy his wife an anniversary gift. He doesn't want to do it. He knows that you are a true Christian, not a fakie. So he tries to manipulate you trying to get you to buy the gift for his wife. As you all can see, this is wrong. If anything, we must help out the poor and needy. For this example, you will get blessed if you buy the anniversary gift for the sheep goat. I believe God is not commanding us to do everything a person asks. If someone asks you to buy them a car, and you don't, would you have to repent for it? Would you be sent to hell for it if you die without repenting of it? Of course not. We have to use wisdom when someone is being manipulative or if they are in need. Do you all understand what I mean? This is one of the many manip manipulative tactics a sheep goat will use. Another tactic of a sheep goat is justifying their sin with the Bible. 
Does it make sense, right? Sheep goats will twist around scriptures to fit their agenda, so wicked and evil. This happens more often than we think. To the best of my knowledge, I don't think I ever twisted scriptures to fit my agenda. If I did, it was not on purpose. Usually when I was sinning, I was content. I knew I was doing wrong, but I didn't care. To know the truth, but to pervert it for your purposes. That is no different than what Satan is doing. Crazy. This is why I believe sheep goats are the most wicked. So if you think about it, you have to watch out for most people who call themselves Christian. Most people who call themselves a Christian is really a sheep goat. I am a Christian myself. Instead of saying Christian, I like to use follower of God. The word Christian is so, is as diluted as the word love. People use the words so improperly, describing someone or something that doesn't even relate. God bless you.